Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. I am beaming with excitement because we have finally substantial, permanent, constant power at our completely off-grid cabin here in Willow, Alaska. And it was put in by none other than all off grid. So join us today. Let's get some power and some lights and all the fun things. Join me. So one of the big issues Caleb's been having out here at the cabin is this giant generator and the four small batteries we have. They don't hold power long enough so he's having to run this big generator the whole time and it uses so much gas. Mitchell's in Alaska came out and went, why are you running that big of a generator? So we got this smaller Honda generator, this 3000. It is more than enough to power this cabin and um, it's brand new. It has two options. So this big generator the battery keeps going dead on it so we have to jump start it because it only has an automatic start this little honda generator can either pull start or push button start but we've never tried to start it we just took it out of the box aaron and kayla are trying to hook that up and see if we can just take the main power source right here this cord plugs into here and this is what powers the cabin can that go into here and power the cabin? That's what we're working on right now. quiet yeah everything you guys have told me is <clears throat> everyone up here kind of swears by that Honda and that no matter how cold that? it gets you one one yeah. pool and then the thing starts We simply got the generator started. We knew that it was working. We plugged it in to the cabin on the first night, but over a weekend, we spent a whole weekend out to the cabin. And these are kind of those videos pulled together, all the different aspects that we were working on. So we began cleaning out the Connex in order to make space for all the winter things that Caleb needs to keep in and out and protected from the snow and while we cleaned that out they went ahead and started detaching this big Honda what is it a 5,000 something like that generator to get it out of the way in the Connex. all right you got her disassembled what all parts do you have to this Caleb huh you got everything detached
all of you that are always concerned at my house about us not having an actual big generator. We have the big generator welder, all of that. Now we have a big generator. And for the cabin, we have a small one. That's so much more space. What are you working on now? Yeah. Lighting is so important in the winter time here. And what we have is right now we have power to the cabin. So I have light, this one light over the table and then there's one light in the kitchen, but those are the only two lights in the entire cabin. The other two lights that you see in the same spots are actually propane lights, like you would find in an Amish house or something like that. They do work and they are what the kids have used all summer long when they needed lighting is instead of having any power out here, they would just run these propane lights. That is not something you wanna run when you're gone. And then the other thing we're trying to think ahead when we did all of this was when you come home, the daylight is so short here, um, unlocking the door, all of those things. So what we ended up doing is going with battery powered, lights for the inside and outside of the cabin and then that way um, Caleb can not drain on the batteries or anything that is off grid here but we should be able to pop up a bunch of lights throughout the house so I'm gonna see how many of these work and make sure everything is working well and nothing needs to be taken back that's what we're gonna do now According to each of the different lights, they should last on the set of batteries for about a year. Um, that would be fantastic if that actually happens and we'll keep you posted. Let's light the outhouse this winter. First of all, we have a censored light right here at the handle. It's too bright out, it doesn't turn on right now. And then I popped in here and look, this light is so bright. This morning when Caleb dropped me off, it was dark out and he scooted out here and it automatically turns on. It's being protected from the weather here in the outhouse. And then there's one more, do, do, do. Let me spin around. This one will turn on in the dark as well. And it is right by the teepee so that you are able to see. But what is great is in when it is dark and wintry out that you can run out of the cabin your handle is automatically going to light up the the bathroom is automatically going to light up and then the where you grab the toilet paper from is automatically going to light up so we got all of those set this morning when we got here um the bathhouse is right over there we'll pop in there in just a second that light as we just walked by it just automatically popped on this morning so it helped us see our way and then i have some more automatic battery operated lights that i need to add to the cabin look at what a mess i've made <laughs> i was just sitting on the couch here editing a video while i'm waiting for everything to happen today and i had gone to the home depot yesterday there's going to be a actually getting water to the pump. We're hoping that becomes a video because if that becomes a video, it means we actually have running water in the cabin. So yay, when you finally get to see that one pop up. Right now we don't. I spent hours, hours at the Home Depot getting bits and pieces of plumbing. And these lights that I have throughout the cabin 
were clearanced even further. So originally they were 20 some dollars. They clearanced them down to like 12 and $14. And then yesterday, because they're getting rid of them, they had them at nine and $7. So what I'm gonna do for you is find some other videos, some other lights, sorry, not videos, some other lights in on like Amazon and I may link some lights from the Home Depot because this light that kept turning on all day is fantastic. So when we opened the door this morning, it was dark. There wasn't any power on. That light automatically turned on. We could see our way into the cabin. All of that is wonderful. I'm not quite sure how I felt about it as I try to just kind of relax on the couch with just a lamp. However, it is what it is. It kept turning on and off. Don't love that, but that's okay. It did automatically turn on and we had light when we got in here. That light they still have, that's a new light. Um, and then the bigger, more powerful ones that will go on the front porch and in the shower house, those guys they still have as well. Um, and those are all automatic. I did also get Caleb this little battery daddy. I have the bigger one from Costco, but this will work amazingly. All of the lights take different size batteries. So everything from AAA all the way up to a D. So AA, C, D, all the different things. The lights you see here, these turn on and off with a button. Okay, and then we have some automatic ones and then they also make um, remote activated ones where you can push a remote. So say it's really high, you can push the remote and it will communicate with that light and it'll turn that light off and on. So check in the description box and then possibly I might leave it in some of the comments, but I will leave you some lighting options that might work for your off grid or even your outdoor thing like the chicken coop. These would be amazing in my chicken coop. Not that we don't have power because we do, but right now I run an extension cord in the winter time to the coop for lighting, not for heat. But these may be fantastic out there for that sort of lighting as well. So All right, good news. Our guys from All Off Grid in <laughs> Big Lake, Alaska are here to install the system. We're gonna lose power, but guess what? You aren't even gonna notice because none of the lighting runs off of the power system. It is now all electric. I did add a few more lights. So over the table here, he has three options, regular power. This is a propane light like you would see in an Amish home. And then the battery operated, I added, I'm so lit up in here. It's unbelievable, folks. We can cook. We can light fires, <laughs> you name it. So perfect, perfect. So here we go. Let's see what they say. The first thing they're, they're gonna do is shut off the generator and the power and then take apart this box, whole bunch of other things. Now it can. Hey guys, this is Nick. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but this is Nick. I'm Devin, we work at All Off Grid. Came here to install one of our packages that, uh, yeah, they got us out here. We're gonna get to work. Look us up, All Off Grid has a tiny YouTube channel, or look me up, Devin, also Alaska Drone Photography, or All Off Grid, that's our company. Thanks. A couple of things I don't mention later while they're installing this system is it is literally sold as a DIY system. If you are off grid and in the area, you can just pick it up take it to your off-grid property, wherever that is. It is so simple. There is literally a power comes in, power goes out. It is basically two very, very simple cords. So easy. They give you instructions and manuals and they lay it out for you. Even if you go in your, their shop, they can show you how it works there. You take it 
Aaron and Caleb, 100% capable of having done this, but we got a special deal with them. They were able to come out and then we were able to feature them here on our YouTube channel. Not a sponsorship, none of that. However, I was so impressed with the system and how it is working. I wanted to share it. They wanted to share it. So here we are letting them install it for us. We could have done this if you have any basic electrical knowledge, you can also install this. Um, and that is how it is intended to be done. But anytime I can support a couple of local veterans and their business, I am absolutely going to feature them on the channel and do that when possible. Tell me how it works. Okay, so in <laughs> tell, order, Wait, tell me your name. Nick. Nick. I'm with All Off Grid. Okay. I'm the owner operator. This is Devin. He's my technician. Okay. So we've installed a DIY 5048. It's a 5,000 watt inverter, 48 volts. Um, so right now your battery is sitting at 57.5, so you're relatively full. Um, the battery says it's halfway full. Um, when you get this symbol here, that's the generator. That means generator's on. You can see the little lines going out to the inverter, and then the power's going to the battery. The power is also going around the inverter and bypass over to the load. Um, when the generator shuts off, you'll see the battery power coming out of the battery into the inverter to the load. If you ever had solar, it would show solar going from the panels to the inverter to the battery. Um, and so that's the way it works. The biggest thing you need to be concerned about is just the voltage. Um, and so you've got this little screen here. It says 55%. It says it's discharging. Um, I don't know why it says it's discharging we'll have to address that question in a second um but yeah that's the basic thing so when this gets down to 20 percent, you need to start the generator this okay. should beep when it's about 20 percent. okay um and then set it a timer for about four hours and um shut the generator off after it says 100 that's it that's it turn it's on the generator set. run it yep. for four hours when it's 20 percent mm -hmm. and call it good yep so you're going to tell us it's telling us how much power is going out and how much power yeah so, right, can handle? yeah, so right now, like it says, a thousand hours till empty. Um, okay. It's not accepting any power because it thinks it's full. Okay. Um, this this uh, is a guess, okay. so it's not quite accurate. Uh, it's going to take a couple cycles for it to get accurate. Okay. Um, but when we shut the generator off, it should say it'll probably come down. It won't say a thousand hours. It'll probably come down to like okay. 10, 20 days. So how many... Is it watts that it? It's a is 5,000 watt inverter, yes. Yeah, so and then how many watts are we running in this cabin right now? Right now, um, you're drawing an amp. So <laughs> 80, 80 watts. And yeah. we have 5,000? You have 5,000. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she can run. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So That's, you actually have six thousand. Thank you, All Off Grid. You did a fantastic job. I am super impressed with how the system's working. And so this is the little bitty Honda generator that actually powers the box. So what has happened now is there is a plug. When we start and run the generator, it will get vented perfectly. And then here is the new uh, box. So this power cord runs under the ground and then into the cabin up into how simple is this literally you guys how simple is this for real i have power without running the generator for the first time since we got this cabin fantastic news so i dug all of this out from underneath the storage he does now have an amazing amount of storage under the stairs this will even run a normal refrigerator if we wanted to do that. We are drawing so little power in comparison to what it will power in this cabin. And we have the um, stove going. So that is how little we are running. The good part is running a little power, even though it could run a lot more power at any given time this will last for days and days and days 
keeping this heater going so that Caleb isn't having to come home and constantly kicking on that generator in order to get enough power to keep the heat going. Now that we have <laughs> power that does need to stay heated, we have a heater that can run constantly. We officially can move on to the next step, which is getting the water from the water tank into the cabin. Our biggest fear was getting water into the cabin and then not having heat to where it all froze up and then we had leaks and we were destroying the cabin through water leaks. So that can be kind of one of the biggest hangups of it all. It isn't often a big deal if you have an off-grid cabin that doesn't have any water, you're, you're not interested in having running water, then maybe the electrical isn't as important. Maybe the heat isn't as important to you if that's the case. But if you want to have running water in your off-grid place here in Willow, Wasilla, further north, any place in this part of Alaska, you have got to have substantial heat, like heat that will can constantly um, keep running to keep everything from freezing. And in order to do that, we, like we said, aren't home all day, so we couldn't do just wood heat. So we had to do this heater. The heater then dictated what size electrical system. The water pump dictates what size electrical system. And this is what I was talking about in a previous video. You don't, when you end up in this situation, you come out and you think, oh, it's cut and dry. It's simple. We'll just get electrical. <laughs> no, the number one question they're gonna ask you when you go to set up a system is, how much are you running on it? Well, based on what was running in this cabin previously, <laughs> it would have been a couple of lights. If we built the system based off of a couple of lights, not the ultimate goal, this isn't the system we would have gone with. We could have gone with something much smaller, maybe a couple of batteries, something really easy. But the end goal is to have the addition with the bathroom. The end goal is to have the water pump, which is under the sink here, have running water in the cabin. The end goal is to have heat. The end goal is to have a refrigerator in here. The end goal is to be able to turn on some lamps and not only have the lighting that I have shared, those are the end goals. So how much electric are each of those going to take the heating system and the power system are now all based on the end goal, not based on where the cabin started out. Does that make sense? I sure hope it does. <laughs> it was a lot of words. With that, I know that I skipped um, going into the shower house and the reason I skipped it is A, no one can shower there until we get hot water out there, which is a whole nother video. And so I have this giant tank in front of the door um, because that's where Caleb and I set it. And in order for me to go out there and show you the lighting, I need to move that take on and off by myself. I'm not capable of doing that. I just need an extra set of hands. So I'm gonna show you the lights that are in that. Look at how bright that is. These great big fat motion sensor lights, just like what is in the outhouse, only larger, <laughs> is what is actually in the shower house. When we get all of the water up and running and the shower actually working, because it does have its own room, we have a goal with the buddy heater and an on-demand water heater that's on site. When we get there, I will take you along. <laughs> I promise, I promise, promise, promise. How will you know? You will know when I post those videos by being a subscriber to the channel. There's a little bell. If you hit it and you say all, it'll notify you when we've posted a video. And that's how you won't miss anything that happens on our channel. If you enjoyed this video, 
or any of our others, would you hit that thumbs up button and then leave a comment? Those things really do help our channel to grow. The last thing you can do is share these videos. Not only does this help my channel out, it helps a local company here. The All Off Grid, every one of them are veterans, United States veterans from different um, areas of the armed forces and every single one of them was injured for our benefit. So wounded warriors, that sort of thing. If you're interested in being supportive, all off grid is where it's at. Um, so make sure you're following along, make sure you're supporting. So share the video so that others who are trying and attempting the off grid out here in this area, Wasilla, Willow, Big Lake, all of that, they can look this company up and use them as well. So share the videos, like, subscribe, all of the fun things with that. Thank you for hanging out with us today at the Off Grid Cabin. Here we go again. We now have power and we have substantial power and we have it running 24 seven without the generator running the entire time. So it is fantastic news around here. I'm beaming with excitement. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next video.